Hello, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge. Today I'm bringing you another Top 5 Wednesday, which if you don't know is a Goodreads um, prompt group where they give you different prompts for your top for a list of five for top five things um, and this month is October which is Halloween month and just in case you didn't know that for some wild reason um, and they have different like spooky scary taunts or taunts <gasps> prompts whatever I'm not even gonna start over because it doesn't matter um, uh, before I dive into this list of my top five favorite mythical monsters and creatures I just want to let you know that if you subscribe to my channel I put up new content every Monday Wednesday and Friday including book hauls book reviews book wrap-ups all the booktubish things that you just love that's what I make so but without further ado, I want to dive into my top five favorite monsters. And they said about this prompt that they don't necessarily mean like Frankenstein or whatever, although that works too. Um, they mean more like your favorite mythical creatures and stuff like that. So I want to start with number five, my favorite, my top five favorite, the fifth one is elves. Um, I've read elves in lots of different things. I love them in movies and TV shows as well. Um, they just have a happy place in my heart like the elves in The Inheritance Cycle um, as well as the elves in Lord of the Rings. Um, those are some of my favorites. I really like them as like the strong, tall, extra powerful, extra fast, long living. Those are my favorite kind of elf um and I didn't like pick books for each of this because no, further into the list like they don't necessarily fit into like a specific book or whatever but I just I love something about elves and when they're good and when they're bad I love all of it number four I just had to have this on the list because it's really what got me into fantasy back in the day um and that would be vampires and you know what no shame I've said this many times on other videos Twilight is what got me into reading YA Twilight revitalized my reading life at the age of 14 like well or started my reading life like I wasn't really reading too much before I read that book and realized what cool options there were out there um so, but it, Twilight vampires are my favorite kind of vampire, but they're what got me interested in it. And from there, I've read about every kind of vampire, from the ones who can basically live like us, except they need blood, from the ones who have fangs and live in castles, to ones who are forcibly turned and then they live with the guilt of it forever. I've read every kind of vampire, vampires who love being a vampire, ones who hate it, ones who can't wait to change it. Like I love all the kinds. Um, and so that's really one of my favorite mythical creatures. I think there's such cool mythology with it. Can you really love someone forever? Who knows? So that definitely had to be on this list. Number three, which goes alongside vampires, it would be werewolves. Um, probably definitely not the Twilight werewolves for this one. Um, I think a little bit more of like the savage of it. I'm trying to think of some good examples, but you know, you got your teen wolf werewolves. I love the werewolves in the Vampire Diaries. I think those are really cool. Um, I'm a big fan of the ones where they do fully turn into a wolf. So I guess that's kind of like the LaPush werewolves, but you know, um, I just think there's a really like tragic as aspect to werewolves, especially the ones who they are synced in with like the lunar cycle. It's usually people who didn't have a choice, like, um, like Remus Lupin in the Harry Potter series where they don't have a choice for being it. And it, it brings them back to their baser nature without having a choice. And I think that is pretty cool. So um, that's definitely one of my favorite creatures. I think I'm still waiting for that one story about werewolves, though, that like puts it all together for me. Um, because I feel like werewolves is one where there's not a ton of great mythology behind it. They just go with like, oh, the moon makes us this or we can do it whenever we want because we're really shapeshifters and not actually like werewolves. So like, I don't know, um, but they definitely had to be on my list because I've read a lot of books with different kinds of werewolves in it but I've never read a good one with them as like the lead of the story do you know what I mean they're usually like side to some other drama like there'll be witches and 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 vampires and then of course there's werewolves too and then it's all these people fighting you know but anyway so number two 
I put fairies because I've read a lot of books with fairies and different kind of like fae slash fairy, you know, like Sarah J. Moss, of course. Um, I really loved an enchantment of ravens earlier this year that had fae in it. Um, I love, but of course by like fairies and fae, like I mean more the ones that, not like Tinkerbell fairies, like the dangerous fae that will lure you away to your death or like cause you to like I like the dark aspect of fairies um so that's why they had to be on my list and uh yeah like I really this year an enchantment of ravens like really really got to me a lot of people didn't like it but I did so then my number one and I wonder if you could guess this because I didn't say a lot of the other ones but number one for me would be dragons if there is a story with dragons in it I want it um I love the inheritance cycle i love it so much i think there's so many cool creatures in that world and allegasia is amazing i love dragons in um i mean that's the main one that sticks out so i'm trying to be all cool and like think of the other ones but like i love the dragons in there um but really any story that has dragons pop up um like there's a new series that i'm reading onyx and ivory has these kind of like fire drakes that they're like they're bad but it's still like a kind of dragon and i'm really hoping that um the main character will be able to control them sometime i feel like that's a possibility and i want it so bad um yeah so i mean dragons are my favorite and mostly due to christopher paoliti because safira I want her in my life so bad. I just, I love her. So yeah, so there you go. Those are my top five favorite mythical creatures. Um, sorry that maybe this wasn't more in depth. No, no sorry. This is how I feel. These are my favorite creatures. Um, let me know like what your favorite books are that have some of these creatures in it. Some that I mentioned, some that maybe I didn't because I would love to read them if they have these, especially if you know of a good werewolf story, not like an erotica. I mean, you're welcome to tell me about that if you want because I definitely found a lot of like mythical erotica and it's like, I don't care about the sex. I care about that you could turn into a werewolf. <laughs> so if you can find me any of those, I would be very grateful to you, so. There we go. That's what I have to share with this. Check out um, Top 5 Wednesdays group. I'll have it linked down below. And of course, subscribe to the Book Refuge for more content weekly. Thank you.